What's up, guys? This is Playmat Format. Joker's back, burning this black lotus. This uh, Liliana. Trying to get with Liliana. She's blowing him off. Because <laughs> she's too busy. Fucking Chandra! Oh. Anyways. <laughs> um, we also got a guest. Say hi. Come on, Gino. Don't be shy. Howdy, y'all. He's a country boy. Everybody likes country boys. Um, alright, well, we're gonna start off, and we got two Patreon packs to put into the Patreons. We got 2020, and Throne of El Drain. Yep, um, the way that you do that is you go to our About Me, you go to our Patreon website there, and then you find that donate button, and you donate, uh, a certain amount, and we, we've explained the tiers before. Um, so in one of the videos, and plus I have it posted on JoJo's Playmat format uh, on Facebook. Page. Yeah, uh, our Facebook page. If you want to head over there, um, we're gonna get started. I decided that I was gonna open up my Modern Horizons pack right away. So let's uh, let's take a look at what's inside this bad boy. Um, we bought a shit ton. Of you packs have uh, CCG. Oh, I forgot when you get these, uh, it's gonna show the rare right off the bat, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so. so give me a second. Um, ooh, nifty little artwork there, guys. Yeah, this, uh, set also comes with an artwork. Ooh. Do you even have TCG? I do. Snow covered forest. Uh, oh, sometimes good. these are worth quite a bit. They're only 25. Force of Rage is Ooh, my rare. Um, force card. Yeah, uh, as a lot of people know, um, Force of Will is usually... Force of Will is that really expensive one, right? Let's see what we got here, guys. Come on. Piece of shit. Alright, I'll just look it up. See if that helps. The lighting is a little bit off. It's too yeah. dark. I gotta look it up by hand. Sorry, guys. Um, force. Force of rage, guys. Really good card. We got twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents. Yikes. Oh, this one is the one of the weaker ones. Yeah, okay, so Force of Rage right here um, is a three-drop instant for two red and one colorless. Uh, if it's not your turn, you may exile a red card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Create two, three, one red elemental creature tokens with trample and haste. Sacrifice those creatures at the beginning of your next second. I see why it's not worth that much. All right. Um, Ice Hide Gollum. Oh, I'll talk to her. She has Watch her for to tomorrow. So. Crypt Rats. And then I a like whole crypt bunch rats, of. Man. Rats are awesome. Hey, you got a rat for that rat commander, man. Hey, yeah, there you go. I finally actually have some. Alright, I'm opening up my 2020 packs first guess so let's see what I think we that's got. uh if you're gonna do are you gonna go in order how you have them right now yeah here and then oh, okay zeros and then I'll drain and then then I'll go I'll drain first uh I don't show the commons if he wants to show the commons he can but I don't no no no, no. Uh, uh only if it's a cool common don't happen very often I love this pack right now. Vengeful War Chief. I love this card, guys. Ooh. It's a good uncommon. Uh, it. I like this card. Whenever you lose life for the first time each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Vengeful War Chief. You want to hit me? Fine. I'll just make this guy bigger and bigger. Go ahead. Keep swinging at me. <laughs> that guy is awesome. 
Um, eternal isolation. Ooh, Man, the isolation. But that's what it looks like. I got a Chandra voice pyromancer, the uh, uncommon. She's pretty cool. Now, how fucking okay? How often does that fucking happen to you, dude? Where you get two of them in a row, and not War of the Spark. War of the Spark don't count. Well, 2020, I always got that. Where you get one and then get another. Yeah, one remember I got that blue one and then that green foil one. At the end. Uh, let's. My next uh, one is actually a mythic. I got Sorian, Sorin. Imperious Bloodlord, this needs to go in my black and white deck. Yeah, oh my um, god. It's really good. I'll read it to you guys. I'm sorry. You used to have one, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, plus one, target creature you control gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn. Oh, that's so good. If it's a vampire, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So good. Plus one. You may sacrifice a vampire when you do. Soren Imperious Bloodlord deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. And then minus three. You may put a vampire creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Wow. Any vampire creature card. How much does he cost to bring out? Three. Wow. <laughs> That's broken, guys. That is so broken. Uh, I got... And I got a foil gauntlet of light. Ooh. My first foil. Oh, God. I could have had a fucking sword and a Chandra. I got lucky. Oh. got so lucky. He's going to look those cards up. While he's doing that, I'm going to start opening my next pack. My pack from Throne of Eldraine, guys. Maybe I'll get the uh, the twins, huh? Let's hope. Oh, that'll be cool. All right. A foil set. You didn't say please. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, didn't say please is a counter target spell. It's control puts the top three cards of the library into the graveyard. Okay. Ooh, I like that sound. Eight dollars and ninety-one cents for this story in here. Oh, a lot That's of stuff that I already have. And Chandra Ooh, Novice Pyromancer I know isn't worth anything. No, no. I it have is. like ten of those. So if you guys want a signed Chandra Novice Pyromancer, yeah, we'll let sign us it. No, we'll sign it both of us and send it to you. Yeah, there it's we go. It's not worth anything, so why not? Maybe our signatures later on will be worth something. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Shine Chaser is my first uncommon. I actually have never gotten this one. Flying Vigilance, Shine Caster, it gets plus one, plus one, as long as you control an artifact. It gets plus one, plus one, as long as you control an enchantment. That's pretty that, decent. That's decent. Did you show him the uncommon? Yeah, I... That was a... I don't remember, actually. <laughs> Uh, giant opportunity. Everybody knows what a giant opportunity does. Ooh, I love you. That's a good one. Uh, there you go. A lock dragon. Everybody knows what that does too. <laughs> um, ooh. Oh, that's a good one. An outlaws merriment. Outlaws merriment for two white, one red, one colorless. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random. Create a red and white creature token with those characteristics a 3-1 human warrior a 3-1 red and white human warrior with trample and haste a 2-1 with human cleric with lifelink and haste or a 1-2 human rogue with haste and when this creature enters the battlefield it does 1 damage to any target what yeah. is that? yeah so there's uh, our second mythic. Here, bring it up, man. Um, I'm kind of getting some shoes right now. Yeah. Oh, 89 cents. Well, 89 cents is still better. If you don't want it, it could go into the cell pile, man. Yeah. I like it, though. I like it. I, I might actually like keep it. Good. 
card, I'd put that in my red and uh, white deck. Yeah. I got that Tajik I can make. Alright, your turn, man. Was that it? No foils? No foils, nothing else. Uh, after that, uh, I got a wolf. Oh. Okay. <laughs> tokens, guys. Tokens. Sometimes the tokens are cool, though. And that token actually goes oh, that's a to that Garrick. Garrick that's the Throne of Eldraine Garrick token. Ooh. Maybe you might pull Ooh. Garrick, man. Well, one of us would both have packs from Throne of Eldraine. I've already had Garrick like three or four times now. <laughs> and yeah, what I happened gave to him? one to. I sold it, remember? Uh, I had to get Jazzy out of here. Uh, and then all of a sudden she. It happens. You want to see your kid so bad, you will sell your heart, a hobby, and a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. But, we're getting new cards. It's all good. I ain't tripping. Oh, I'm pretty time. sure you've, you've made up for all the cards that you've sold so far. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Close, but no. No, I'm pretty sure. I had a lot of good cards. Yeah, but you sold like three hundred dollars worth. We've definitely gotten over three hundred dollars worth of cards. Yes. Yeah, I believe I'm, so. I'm, ta I'm now. talking value wise. Now, not, yeah. Not like playability. Worth. Target creature gets minus two, minus two till end of turn. Disfigure. Ooh. The first uncommon in my pack. Uh, pattern matcher. I have a shit ton of these. Oh. They're really good if it's in a uh, standard deck because you could just play it and find more of them, put them into your hand, shelf your library, play it again, find another one, put it in yeah. your hand. <laughs> Set up your bullshit combos. And then scampering scorcher. Elemental, guys. Eee. Man, fuck you. We've got two planeswalkers already. Uh, you're only cool I one haven't opened my 2020s. Story. I haven't opened my 2020s yet, though, so. Or your heroes. heroes yeah. You I have can't get no idea. You could get, like, a shit ton of gods right now. True. My rare is Bishop of Wings. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. Hmm. Whenever an angel you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with life. There you go. That's definitely going in my black and white deck. All I'm doing is hooking up my black and white deck. Where's... Oh, I'm going to move these. There's the rares, oh, yeah. the mythics, and the foils. A rugged highlands for my land. A soldier for my token. And a thought distortion for my... Hey, I'm getting full. East 2020 packs, man. Yeah, I'm... I started opening the wrong ones. Um... <laughs> Well, you never know what you're going to get out of Modern Horizons. You could either get oh, yeah. money or Just that. decent stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not decent. Oh, my God. I think that was the worst pull it ever. Because it was a force, it was going to be worth something? No, guys. I was Ooh. wrong. You got some good ones in that pack. Yeah. I All like right. the commons in To this. start with. I got a Revenge of Ravens. That's so good. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller loses one life, and you gain one life. That's the That'd card I have one. in my black deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the combo with that one card, oh, unstoppable. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Pathlighter. Flying 2-2. Two -two. Each creature you control that has an adventure... Enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one -one counter. It does not need to have gone on I'm the adventure. I'm kind of cheating with my deck, though, guys. Because I have two different colored sleeves. Well, that don't matter. 
Uh, Ar Arcanist Owl. A 3-3 three, three flyer. I don't know which card they are. Though. Yeah. A 3-3 three, three flyer. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact or enchantment card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of the library in a random order. I've used this quite a few times. It's it's pretty decent. Um, and then I got a worthy knight for my um. You say worthy knight. Worthy knight for my. Don't rare. forget to read it, man. Yeah, worthy knight. Yeah, I already did. Oh. I think I said whenever you cast a knight spell, create a one-one white human creature token. Forty-six cents. Ugh. Then I got a foil beloved princess. <laughs> so that's. I'm gonna put that over here. Hey, yeah, foils land and foils, and it goes, man. Or giant, All right, giant I'm token. going with Daryl's Beyond Death now, guys. There we go. Uh, I put one of my packs into the thing. Yep. Uh, I opened one earlier, so I don't have as many packs. Um, I skip all the commons. No, no one likes commons. Well, I don't like commons. Right. I don't like reading commons. Unless I'm in the middle of the game. <laughs> Then you gotta read your comments. Alright, Wolf Willow Haven. It's a good card. It's not worth much, though. That's the whole point. Um, needs to be the worse. Triumph no. of Annex. I love this card. Is this the card of. No, this isn't the card of that. No, it's. Uh. uh got to do oh, with the Oh, shit. So Hero of Winds. Hero of Winds. And I just pulled one of the best cards in this set, Shadow Spear, as uh, a rare. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has trample and lifelink. You tap one, permanents your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible oh until God. end of turn. Equip for two. <laughs> wow. You equip this for two, guys. So broken. <laughs> oh my god. Remember Jack was playing this on this? Fuck, man. He fucked this up. Oh, that... Fuck your gods, he says. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did it say they lose indestructible? They... Lose hexproof and industrial. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Shadow Spear. Alright, you're up, man. Shadow Spear. Ooh, nice. 572 for there Shadow Spear. There we go. How much was that Soren? Eight something. Yeah. Run away together! Run away together! I love that card. Ooh, Curious Pair. I have like 20 of the... Ooh. I haven't been getting many of these anymore. Reaper of the Night. Reaper of the Night Slash. Uh, uh, sorry, Jack. A joke. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I, I had to reap his soul, guys. He didn't have to do nothing. I had to. No. No, no, he didn't. It's to help him pull the crazy pose. <laughs> Fireborn Knight. Double strike, and Ooh. you can give it plus one, plus one to the end of turn for the same amount of That's fucking cast it. card, guys. Yeah, it can be. Um, Jeez. this is a fucking good one. He knows how good my knight decks are. <laughs> he knows. Righteousness, target blocking creature Ooh. gets plus seven, plus seven till end of turn. That's a one drop. That's one of my favorite uncommons. Um, a heraldic, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit right now. I just pulled something pretty cool. Pretty Um, dope. The Cauldron of Eternity. For 12 mana, this spell costs two less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Um... 
tap two and one black, tap this, pay two life, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. Wow. It's a good card. 91 cents. 94 cents for this? Yeah. Why? Good cards are going down in price, man. But I can he's put ahead it. in mythics right now. I have two mythics. Your turn for a mythic, man. I hope. I hope. I hope you pull some crazy shit out of it. Oh, I'm so it. fucking hoping to pull some crazy shit out of it. And you pulled some pretty good shit. That's not bad for an uncommon pull, dude. Oh, uh, well. It's only worth it if you're doing elementals. That's true. Which you've done that. You've been that. You've been yeah, that. but I don't have any legendary elementals. Buy an Omnith, man. Buy an Omnith. It's not worth it compared to what I'm trying to build. Uh, I'm trying to build that Hydra deck. Uh, one with the stars. Yeah, Good uncommon. Go. Turns anything into a fucking enchantment. <laughs> um... Enemy of Enlightenment. Ooh, demon. Enemy of Demons. I'm a demon person. I like my rack though. Stinging Lionfish. Good for your flash builds. And then I got a Hactos, the Unscarred game. Oh, I got Legendary one. creature, human warrior, Hactos, the Unscarred, attacks each combat fable. As Hactos enters the battlefield, choose one, two, three, or four at random. Two, three, or four. Um, Hactos has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen one. So, eh. I mean, that's kind of cool. Cause yeah, yeah, but what if somebody just has a weenie deck and you don't know about it? And you say, like, three or four, and they're just dropping a bunch of tokens that are just tokens. That true. doesn't save you from shit yeah, if there's true. Just... That's true. But, hey. That's, that's situational. <laughs> oh. My turn? Mm -hmm. I know for a fact he's not worth much. He's time. not worth anything. I'm not even going to bother. Unless you guys want me to, I'll just do it. Because just it's the rare. Just do it. Just do it because you can. Ugh, there we go. There we go. There. Go over there. All right. Ooh. I really liked Corset 2020. 25 cents. Well, we tried. Um, Thought Distortion. This spell can't be countered for six. Target opponent reveals their hand. Exile on all non-creature, non-land cards from that player's hand and graveyard. Mm. Ooh. I got the same card, but mine up. Yeah, we're getting some pretty good stuff. Are you seriously circling me? Um, that's a, a little planeswalker coffin. Yeah, that's my little planeswalker. My little Liliana. Uh, <laughs> a dragon mage. Ooh. A 5-5 five five dragon wizard. When it deals combat damage to play, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. I have this in our game nights box. I don't have it. Also the in your dragon deck. Did you put that in the dragon deck? Mm -hmm. Huh. There we go. I wasn't sure if that was. A I mean, why wouldn't thing. you put that dragon Ooh. in a dragon deck? I need to rebuild that artifact deck. Uh oh. Renowned weaponsmith. Nice. For. Um. No, I think I still have that belt. I don't know. Uh, add two colorless. Spend this only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Search your library for a card named Heart Piercer. 
For a card named Heart Piercer Bow or Vial of Dragonfire, mm. reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. I have both of those. Heart. Ooh, nice pull. Agent of Treachery. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. Ooh, that is good. Wow. Treachery, 2020. $9.15? You Woo! finally got a good one. Woo! Wow, my mythics weren't even worth as much as my fucking. Yeah, but that one's been played, man. That's a really good card. A really good card. You have another one, man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm putting it in here. I was going to say, good for selling. We, we do need to start putting some more cards in. Probably, yeah, I, I still have some decent cards probably here. Probably going to put some of these into the sell pile. I got this uh, Atris still. Yeah. I don't know if he's worth anything right now. Eh, no. Not even foil extended art? I don't know yet. I'd have to look him up. Uh, Nyx Herald. Uncommon. Mirror Shield. Mirror Shield. Uncommon. Uh, Hero of the Winds. Woo, almost dropped my cards. Hero of the Winds. And then we got ourselves a legendary creature. Rex the Sudden Storm. Flash, flying, spells you cast with converted mana cost five or greater cost one less to cast and can't be countered. Can't be countered, guys. That is a good one. Alright, Joe. You're up. Uh, I gotta open cards, though. So give me a second. God, got all the fucking ooh duress. God, I didn't get a single planeswalker. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, grave digger. Yeah, that's a good. Grave one. digger. Yeah. Bark High Troll! Hey, I was playing this earlier! Ooh, that's a good spell. Ooh. That's a 75 cent spell right there. Fry. Fry! This spell can't be countered. Fry deals 5 For damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's white or blue. Is actually really good, man. Yeah. Most of them commons are like a quarter, maybe 30 cents. <laughs> you know where this is going. Yeah. Uh. Sephira! Skyblade! Legendary Creature Angel. Four, five, six, seven mana. It's a seven, seven. You may pay one white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than pay this spell's mana cost. It has flying. Lifelink and other creatures you control flying have indestructible. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Mm-mm-mm. Seventy six. Good, it's going in the angel deck. <laughs> That's good. Mm -mm -mm. You did get in one more mythic than I did, and pretty good uh, rares, actually. Yeah, have I only opened five packs in total? Yeah. Mm. I guess. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. six. I should have been. should be six. I'm missing a rare. I've got to be missing a rare. Alright, Throne of Eldraine, guys. We got a Mitch Max of packs. We didn't get in the actual booster boxes. 
<laughs> oh, shit. Where are we, man? <laughs> yeah, probably a uh, hypnotic sprite. So mad. Uh, uh, what I did. No. Alternate art version of hypnotic sprite. Uh, slaying fire. It's decent. I like slaying fire. Into the story. Oh no, I have one less pack than you. No, you have one less pack. Oh, I threw one in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We both did. Um, I just got multiple. No, I only opened up five. One, two. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, and my mythic rare, Groot Cursed Huntsman. Fuck you! Fucking Are you fucking art. kidding me? Number three. This but is it's your third not time? foil. But this still, it's set. your third time getting this fucking card. It but was me, man. The first two times, it was foil. Yeah. This one was not foil. But I'm oh. telling you, he wants to stay with me. That's why he keeps coming back. No <laughs> shit. Holy fuck. No, it's a good card. It's a good card. It's a scary card. Is it still worth a lot? You didn't... I didn't paint it. Yeah. Uh, the foil one might be. But this one, I'm not sure. Might put it in for the Patreon giveaway, guys. Ooh! Patreon! Oh. Oh. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. God. Why does he get so lucky? Five twenty-six. Oh, not bad. For the extended art one? Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, Yerix. Fenluka. Yeah. Fenluka. I just thought that would be fun to say in a Norwegian accent. Enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from their hand. Boom! That's a That's decent. Well, Ogre have... Siege Breaker. Ooh. For a uh, black what? or red, two generic. A 4-3 that has, for a black and a red, <laughs> two generic, destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. It's day. like, Uncle Gino, you're laying in my spots. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian Bourne, Cutthroat. Ooh. Flash. You may cast this spell anytime you could cast an instant. I remember when I got a foil one of those. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Brian Bourne, Cutthroat. Now this was interesting for me to see. Oh man! Cat this the hidden hand. Ah. Legendary spells cast. You cast costs one less to cast. Exile two legendary creature legendary mm. cards from your wow. graveyard until end of turn. Each legendary Such card, a good card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. Wasn't this played on? Um, on. Uh, Ooh. Command zone. Oh, dollar seventy three. That's still pretty good. Yeah. But that's that's a great card. Yeah, I I think I'm gonna make a commander out of that. That that'd be fun. Three mythics. He's literally one mythic ahead of me, but I got the planeswalker. You got the better mythics. Let's not let's not even lie. I don't know. That's a good card, man. Seriously. Not compared to that Garrick. I'm sorry. That Garrick is going into the Patreon giveaways. I know. <laughs> Either that or we're selling it to get our card shop up and running. Yes, yes. we are going to be getting a card shop up and running. It's probably going to be sales online for right now. But uh, we're not giving away good cards for 50 bucks. I mean, a foil sin triplets. You can't have an apple. Yeah. That's so far, literally almost 50 bucks by itself. You yeah. cannot have an apple. Stop. <laughs> that dude was... Yeah, wow. <laughs> um, Alright, we got a Covertious Urge. 
uh, Uncon, Virtuous Urge, I love this card. I don't know why it's not worth anything. Read that, that's broken. No. Oh, sorry. Um, we got a Arcanist Owl. I love this, and Artifact decks. Um, we got a Trail of Crumbs. Oh, yeah, you use this on me. Haven't you? Yeah. No, it was when we were Something playing like with Aaron and I took his uh, extra job out of his mm, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Oh, God. And then, yes, I caught up in Mythics, guys. I got a Robber of the Rich. He's a human archer rogue. Reach and haste. Whenever Robber of the Rich attacks, if defending player has more cards in hand than you do... Exile the top card of their library during any turn you attacked with a rogue. You may cast that card and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Robber of the Rich. Why does he always get the ones that say things like that? <laughs> You got an Atrata the Silencer, man. Yeah, and how well did that work for me? You didn't build it right. Fuck you! Uh, <laughs> and yeah, then a Rose Thorn Hellbrid. Gino. Foil. Your change. Are oh, you heading shit, out, yeah. man? Gino, you gotta pick that up. Still eat it. I will. You heading I out already? Gino. We're almost done, man. Oh, all right. Um, Chris, do you have a bottle? Okay. Yes, yes, I do. I have four bottles over here. All right, here, have that one. It's empty. Yeah, well, all right, you better be my turn. Well, your your garbage bags were full. I was waiting. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Uh, he's got two packs. I've got two packs. Well, this three. is his third pack opening. Yeah. Uh, we got a bunch of trash on the floor, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm saying, oh, wow. Leave me alone. Oh, wow. He got the token, though. Oh, wow. The token? That token. That token. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that art, oh, so good. Uh, yes. Uh, Furious Rise. Do you like it's a good one. Uh, okay. Sweet Oblivion. Yeah. 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 Mel cards. Um, Inevitable End. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Then I got an Ashiox Erasure. <laughs> oh. That's, really good that's a really good one. Flash, when it enters the battlefield, exile target spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exile card. When it leaves the battlefield, return the exile card to its owner's hand. That's a good one. It's a good one. Ashiox like Eraser. <laughs> 22 cents. Robert is rich. $5.50. Dude, you're getting fucking money. Yeah, but it's all going to the shop and the channel anyways. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> like we said, the packs, the stuff that is actually worth money out of these packs is going to Card King. We already agreed on that like three days ago. Mm -hmm. Except it wasn't a booster box. It was just a hosh potch of Cards. Yeah. Oh. Hey, that was good. That good stuff. Are you guys done? No. Uh, almost. Uh, I have two more packs. He's got one more after this one. Uh, skip all the comments. Thank God. Throne of Eldraine. I didn't. I liked it, but it wasn't as exciting as some of the other. Sets. The only exciting thing about Throne of uh. Throne of Eldraine was the double cards. And the food. 
and the food I like mechanic. It. Oh yeah, hypnotics, right? Uh, especially with that black cat. That black mm -hmm. cat was uh, belly of the brawl. Joust. Mm. And then I got a love struck beast. Oh. For one green, it's sorcery adventure. Create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Uh, and then you can play it from exile by tapping two and one green and play it. Love struck beast can't attack unless you control a 1-1 one, one creature. But it only costs three and you get a 5-5 five, five creature after you already created a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. So, hmm. that's decent, I guess. Alright, let's see how much Love Strike Beast is. I just gave you While you're doing that. Huh? Twenty-seven cents. Oh my God! Finally, I didn't hit my. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh, I've been trying to get better. more of those. Yeah. I gave a bunch of. It's hard to say today. that word, but yeah. Yeah, it's practically turned a frog. <laughs> Ooh, sacrifice a creature. Each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Ooh. Lamp pad of death's vigil, a two drop one three enchantment creature nymph. That is so good. All right, guys. Oh, I'm not the oh, main yeah. dudes on the front. <laughs> this is the guy I want. Urza. Urza must come out of that pack. <laughs> if Urza comes out of that pack, we're getting another box. <laughs> How much is he worth? He's like forty-five dollars himself. Dude. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, well, that's the foil here. All right, Ferris Band Brawler. Woo! Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Eh. He's a uh, only a four-four. Elspeth's Nightmare. That's a good one. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, and after you draw a step, add a lore counter. Sacrifice it after three. Uh, first one, destroy target creature and opponent controls with power two or less. Two, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. Then that player discards it. She doesn't like the big one. Three, XL target opponent's yet. graveyard. For three. She's not walking yet. Trust me, later on she'll like design. Woo, that's a new one. I think. Lothis is design? No. Temple of Abandon. I have that character. I don't think I had it yet. I really like Temple's guess. Uh, yeah. Um, it goes to my god deck, but I already have one of the older version. No, that gives me two. Oh. I mean... It comes into play taps, but you literally you scry one. get to scry, and scry is always important. Uh, 81 cents. Not too bad for is that normal. A, is it normal? Yeah. How much is the foil one? Because I have, I have a foil, and I have a foil temple of plenty. So now I have one of each. Seventy-five cents. That's not bad. So, eighty-five cents normal, seventy-five cents foil. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Wow, wizards! Wow. Foil is less than the. Um. <laughs> I don't. I, I. You guys. You guys concern me. All right, last pack for me, guys, and then it's on to Joe's last. Heroes Beyond Death pack. His Modern Horizons pack, guys. Modern Horizons. Let's see what I got. I got a spirit. Fucked up spirit token. Oh, no way. Sometimes the cards get hurt during packaging. That's a cool. Um, oh a cool God. looking. 
Icon. Artwork card. Artwork card. That's better Snow than covered that. mountains. And then a deep forest hermit. He's pretty cool if you're working with a squirrel deck. Um, Vanishing three. This creature enters the battlefield with three time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it. When the last is removed, sacrifice it. When Deep Forest Hermit enters the battlefield, create four 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. And then squirrels you control get plus one, plus one. Pretty decent. I know it's not worth much, but I'll look it up here in a minute. Um, I got a Lava Belly Sliver. Oh. <laughs> sliver, sliver. I hate slivers. Uh, a saddled rim stag snow creature. I want to build a commander snow deck. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruination Rider. He's cool. And that's it for me, guys. The rest are just commons. Um. Uh, a Lancer Sliver. But that's it. Alright. Most exciting thing was the Lancer Sliver. <laughs> well, the Lava Bailey Sliver is a little bit better. Well, like yeah. But. I can't believe I didn't get a single fucking Planeswalker. Yeah, you can have Chandra. I don't want that. <laughs> I got like three of those. That's a good common. Glory Bears. Whenever another creature you control attacks, it gets plus zero, plus one, until end of turn. Good for a standard deck. Have four of them. Alright. Moving on. See what I got. Huh? Last few cards weren't as much money, though. No. no. 37 cents for my... Yeah, we barely hit anything good. Um, Play-wise, it's always good. Faithful N. Deals three damage to any target. Scry one. Cling to dust. XL target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, you gain three life. Otherwise, you draw a card. And then you can escape five. Escape five. Uh, rise to glory. Choose one or both. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return target or a card from the graveyard to your battlefield. What the fuck? Number three. Yay, Dalakos. Dalakos. This is my third freaking Dalakos case. It's not worth it. He's not worth anything. He's worth it. <laughs> oh god. I mean for an artifact commander he ain't too bad. No. But we both got three mythics. I kinda like his Kethis the hand. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Um and that cauldron, that cauldron. Yeah, that cool. cauldron is pretty cool. Um We got some decent rares except for this Hactos. And the Love Struck Beast and the Deforest Hermit. The rest were pretty decent. Uh, yeah. Decent yeah. uncommons and commons. Yeah. And I got three foils, man. Yeah, and two Planeswalkers. Three foils. Well, <laughs> two that really matter. Let's yeah. be realistic. But, like I said, we're both going to throw in a card. And I've had this so many times. It's time to throw yeah. in something for you guys. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to go with Dalakos, and he's going to throw in Garrick, guys. Garrick! I am playing it once on the channel again. It's been a while. <laughs> of course. But. Oh, I'm going to leave that one with it'll you. It'll be sleeved. It'll be still be in perfect condition. Can I learn this stuff in the uh, Yeah, you're supposed to. Uh, Open one end and then put it in for, like, 
That's it for tonight. Uh, what does it say on it? We may choose to do a game tomorrow. If not, then that's yeah. it for this weekend. We'll see you next weekend. We'll try to get another video out uh, tomorrow because it, I feel like we've been kind of slacking on the videos. Um, true. True. Um, a valid point. Alright, we got two more packs going to our... Patreon giveaways. We got a Dalico's Crafter of Wonders and a Groot Cursed Huntsman alternate art for you guys in those uh, Patreon giveaways. If y'all want to hit us up soon, uh, we're going to be throwing some of these cards that are actually worth something into the money pile. Yeah. Um, hit us up, see what you guys want to do. Um, if you would like to buy some of these cards that we've pulled so far, let us know. We'll hook you guys up with a decent, decent price, decent TCG price. Um, we won't try and rip you off. No, <laughs> no, we're not, um, we're trying to help you guys out. We're not just trying to, and we are just trying to make a few bucks. I'm not going to lie, but. We're not trying to screw you guys over in the process. Um, yeah. We really want to help you guys out, and we want to help us out. Where did my pile of cards go? Oh, Isn't that dumb right there? No, that's just the pack. So big fun over here. Your pile of cards. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. I'm tired. I, yeah. <laughs> Some people and then some. No. Um. Yeah, okay, guys. I'm going to keep my guru. Cur no. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, our next video will be. Um, what is our next video? Commander. We're doing Commander tomorrow. Tomorrow night. If we night. do a Commander game, it'll be tomorrow night, guys. Yep. So uh, tune in tomorrow night for a Commander game. Um. Well, not tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow mor well, I'm going to be leaving point. in the afternoon. Yeah. So. so the afternoon will probably be when uh, we uh, we post it. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a fun night. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit up Patreon. Go to our Facebook page. Um, same name as... Uh, our show, Playmat Format. Thanks, guys.